Figure 9 shows a no back EMF motor configured according to the present invention. The arrangement of Figure 9 internally cancels out all or nearly all back EMF of the motor. A DC source A is connected to the motor at brushes B and C. This completes a circuit causing a current to flow in the following manner. Current flows from the positive terminal of A indicated by the plus symbol to brush B through conductor D in the direction of arrow E. Current then enters commutator segment F and travels to main armature winding G through conductor H. The main armature winding G, which is wound on main armature core I, is an alpha turn winding where alpha is any integer greater than or equal to 1. One of these turns is electrically broken to create two terminals. One terminal is electrically connected to one end of conductor AA. The other end of conductor AA is electrically connected to one end of conductor J. Conductor J is wrapped beta number of turns around the cancellation transformers K core where beta is any integer greater than or equal to 1. These beta number of turns make up the secondary of cancellation transformer K. The other end of conductor J is connected to one end of conductor BB. The other end of conductor BB is connected to the other terminal. After the current has traveled through all alpha turns of the main armature winding G, which includes traveling through conductors AA, J, and BB, it travels through conductor L to commutator segment M. The current then exits commutator segment M, enters brush C, and travels through conductor N to the negative side of DC source A denoted by the negative symbol. Main armature core I is positioned between main stator poles O and P and is free to rotate between them. Main stator poles O and P set up magnetic field lines that travel from main stator O to main stator P or vice versa. As current flows through all alpha windings of the main armature core G, it flows at a 90 geometrical degree angle, or nearly so, through the magnetic field lines. This causes a force whose direction is that of arrow Q or arrow R to be exerted on the conductors in the main armature winding G. This force creates a torque that causes the following rotating members to rotate either clockwise or counterclockwise the main armature winding G, the main armature core I, the shaft S, the cancellation transformer K, the commutator segments F and M, the cancellation armature core T, and the cancellation armature winding U. Hence there is now an electrical motor whose rotational velocity omega can vary widely. Though omega can vary widely, all of the rotating members will at all times rotate at omega, no matter what value omega is, because these elements are permanently fixed to one another and or to shaft S. All components that are not rotating are stationary. For example, the stators are stationary. As the main armature windings G rotate at velocity, omega they move through the magnetic field lines. This generates back EMF in the main armature windings G. This back EMF comes out of main armature windings G and appears on conductors H and L, commutator segments F and M, brushes B and C, conductors D and N, and on the 
positive and negative terminals of DC source A. The back EMF that is generated in the main armature winding G is actually an AC signal. The DC source A, however, sees the back EMF as DC because of the mechanical rectification of the commutator segments F and M and brushes B and C. Because of this continuous mechanical rectification, the DC source A never sees a change in the polarity of the back EMF. So even though the actual back EMF generated in the main armature winding G is an AC signal, the DC source A always sees it as a DC signal. The no back EMF motor cancels out all or nearly all of this back EMF in the following way. As the motor rotates at velocity omega, the cancellation armature winding U and cancellation armature core T also rotate at velocity omega since, as was stated before, they are rotating members. The cancellation armature winding U is made up of delta turns where delta is any integer greater than or equal to 1. As the cancellation armature winding U rotates, the delta turns move through another set of invisible magnetic field lines set up by cancellation stator poles V and W. These magnetic field lines extend from cancellation stator V to cancellation stator W or vice versa. The cancellation armature core T is positioned between cancellation stator poles V and W and is free to rotate between them. Because the cancellation armature winding U moves through these magnetic field lines, an alternating current EMF or voltage is generated in the cancellation armature winding U for the same reason that an alternating current back EMF was generated in the main armature winding G. Conductor X is electrically connected to one end of the cancellation armature winding U. Conductor Y is electrically connected to the other end of the cancellation armature winding U. Both conductors X and Y extend and electrically connect to conductor Z that is wrapped psi number of turns around the cancellation transformers K core where psi is any integer greater than or equal to 1. Conductor X electrically connects to one end of conductor Z and conductor Y electrically connects to the other end of conductor Z. Conductor Z with its psi number of turns makes up the primary of cancellation transformer K. Because of conductors X and Y the alternating current voltage generated in cancellation armature winding U is placed on conductor Z which can also be called primary Z. The alternating current voltage placed on primary Z appears on conductor J which as was previously stated is actually the secondary of cancellation transformer K. The windings on cancellation transformer K are selected to cause the voltage on conductor J to equal or be very close to the back EMF and main armature winding G. Because the voltage on conductor J is engineered in this way and because conductors AA and BB place this voltage into main armature winding G, all or nearly all of the back EMF in main armature winding G is removed. Figure 9 is illustrative only and is not intended to show the number of windings, number of cancellation transformers, winding senses, exact physical appearance, nor the exact physical measurements or proportions 
of the elements of a no back EMF motor configured according to the present invention. In an actual no back EMF motor there will be several brushes, several commentator segments, several main armature windings, several cancellation transformers, and several cancellation armature windings. In an actual no back EMF motor even though there will be several main armature windings for each main armature winding there will be one cancellation transformer and one cancellation armature winding. 